fantastic. It's Kim and Gratz. <laughs> well, firstly, massive congratulations last week. Thank the you. drama, the melting, I absolutely loved it. How was it for you? <laughs> Oh, we loved it. We loved every second, didn't we? It was great. It was beautiful. Getting into that character and, you know, that's that's what I love. You know, I love that. That's, that's what, what you I do. do. I just saw you with a freezer. I know, babe. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> I think I've got BAFTA on the phone, actually. It's <laughs> going on my show. <laughs> Please do. Please do. But, I mean, you do love a character. How did you find getting into the Ice Queen vibe? I think I do Ice Queen quite well, <laughs> really. <laughs> it's like, you need to be the witch. I was like, that's easy. <laughs> the judges really really loved it. Grats, they said that Kim's balance looked great, she had that control. What was you making of it all after you'd come off? I mean, actually, I was surprised from the first day of rehearsal. I think something clicked straight away when I started to explain to her all the technique, how she had to brush, brush her feet, how mm. she needed to keep her legs. And in the first day, I went straight away with the hips. And I think the fact that she knew the character of the dance helped us so much, yeah. mm -hmm. so we had more time to, the, to think about the technical stuff. And one, one thing we really saw as well, Anton even said it, is that Kim, you were back on form. Mm. It felt like you'd lost your she way a little was. bit. You self-admittedly said that on this show, yeah. you know, you had a bit of a confidence thing. Did mm. you feel that last Saturday? Last Saturday, I just went out and thought, no, I'm having it. I'm having it. She's having it. Now. I'm having She's it. She's having it. Hey, <laughs> what was that <laughs> for? I just, my mindset just changed. I just went and had a little word with myself and I was like, what are you doing? Just enjoy it. It's yeah. a dance. Enjoy the dance. Enjoy being with Graziano. And, uh, and I did. I really, really did. It was, it was a, it, uh, honestly, a great week for me. My best week, I think. Well, so it technically was your best week because you got your <laughs> highest score of the series. 34 yes. they got. Well Come done to on. you. <laughs> what was it like to see those nine paddles coming out again for the Peria? It was a brilliant. dream come true! <laughs> <laughs> I love him. He's like a puppy. He He's just so happy. Him. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, it was. It was it was a brilliant feeling to know that, you know, we we'd done the job that we set out to do. So we were we were thrilled to bit. And your rumba is actually the highest scoring rumba of the series, Grass. Oh, yeah, God. I mean, look, we've got, we got all the stats for this show, darling. Did you think, I know you said that in rehearsals that Kim seemed to be really getting it. Did you think that that could be achievable? So, yes, in a way, but the thing is, once you go in studio, it's a different thing. Yeah. It's a different place. That ballroom's a totally it, separate thing. You know theory. what I mean? Yeah. Every week is always a question mark because she knows our rehearsal room. Uh, we are used to this. And when we go to a studio, you never know the no. reaction. Mm. But you were brilliant, babe. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Oh, isn't he sweet? He's a nice boy. He's such he? a lovely guy. And because he's a nice boy, I think we should celebrate something as well. Grats his first ever week seven as well. Yeah. He's done it. He's done it. He's done it. I mean, I, listen, this is you're so talented, but Kim's helped you get here. What would you like to say to Kim to get in oh, first absolutely. ever week seven? All of this is because of her. The hard job. She's so busy, and she gave me her one hundred fifty percent. And if I think when we started this journey, and look at you now, I told you this today. It's incredible. It's incredible. I find I found a friend for life. And I know we're gonna be literally. Once Strictly is done, I'm gonna call you, babe. I got problem. Can you talk? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I literally will. As I've... long as it stops him ringing me, it doesn't well, I, I took him. Listen, let's not forget your role in this. I mean, yeah. you know, he says it's because of me. It's, it's, it's. You're only as good as the teacher that you have. Yeah, but your partnership your... is just so lovely to watch. It really, really is. Thank and I think you. actually the public, us, we can all see how genuine oh. this relationship is. We're between genuine Barrier. friends, and we've, we've, we've created the real friendship. I mean, we do things outside of the ballroom because, you know, outside of rehearsal room, sorry, because I feel like that's the key. Yes. You know, take if you you know we we don't just see each other dancing. Absolutely. I, you, know, you went home with me the other night to Emily's. He stayed. I left. Right, and don't he take stayed. that out of context, please. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> having that. I stay with the family, with the babies. I love it. I feel part of the family. And for me, coming from a fam big family in yeah. Italy, when we finish rehearsal, it means something. I said to her, "Let's go to your daughter. Yeah. Let's go. Let's stay all together. They prepare a big meal for me." They know I love food. Well, look, you're both still <laughs> yeah. part of the Strictly family, and yeah. tomorrow night you guys are going to be doing an Argentine tango yeah. to yeah. Assassin's Tango from the film Mr. and Mrs. Smith. We can't play it, it's too much money, darling. All right? <laughs> Just putting it out there. Um, this is the first Argentine tango for the both of you yes. as well. How is it going? What's rehearsals been like? Is it sensual? It's been great. It's been incredible. Yeah? Uh, I think... You notice there's no music here, because you've got to fold it. There's no music. Got to fold it. That's us. It's BBC oh, Two, darling. Oh, yeah. 
Oh. Don't sing it. We can't afford Sorry. that either. Okay. Say, you know, we've had we've been working with Maria and Leandro this week, and they've yeah. been wonderful. They're amazing. They are so encouraging and supportive. You know, and they're and obsessed think... with her feet. Let's say that. They're obsessed yeah. They because she got like from the Roomba last week, and now she, I don't know. She know she even know how to place her feet now in everything she does. And Maria has been. Babe, we need to have the camera <laughs> there <laughs> for one minute and a half. Forget All everything else, just the feet. Um, it's been great. We've, we've hurt ourselves a few times. Yeah. Because I'm wearing stilettos. It's basically dancing in stilettos. And the amount of times I've kicked myself, I've kicked you in the shin. I've got a line of... <laughs> I've just stiletto marks <laughs> along his shin. Yeah. Um, one thing that you did last week, Gratz, for us, was you were so good at telling the story of your dance that you did. Yeah. I would like to maybe replicate that, but this time for an Argentine tango. Okay. So can we dim the lights, please, guys? <laughs> okay. Thank you. I want this okay. to be sensual. Oh, perfect. But, Kim, um, close your eyes. Buongiorno, Graziano. Uh, tell us your story of the Argentine tango, oh, please. Buongiorno, Ryland. Oh, buongiorno. We are in Rome. It's around midnight. Oh, we are in Piazza di Spagna, Rome. Oh, hey. There is a lamppost, no one around. Oh, and me, the beautiful lady. Oh. We fell in love with this song. We start dancing together. Ganchos, bellissimo for this choreography. You lost me, ladies. Grazie, Kim, everyone. No. <laughs> that weren't that word in my dream. That in my dream. <laughs> um, good luck, guys. I Thank can't you. wait to see it. One more time. Kim and Grazie on, everyone. <laughs> All <laughs> uh, right, then my final cover of the night worked wonders on the judges last Saturday night as they cast such a special.